I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. Some of the detractors, I mean, if we use an American Eagle, they'd say it was fascist. If we used a circle, they'd say it was occultic. A, a V, I'm not too f familiar with that being occultic, but... There's no... Uh, it's not by chance these corporate logos all have meaning. All seeing eyes, peacocks. The pentagrams, the shell. Uh, 66 is a really good one and really is telling. If you understand Kabbalism... It's a W. Every letter has meaning and every letter has a number and so V in Hebrew is 6 so 66 becomes W and if you look at uh, Hitler's Volkswagen you'll see it's a VB interlaced double power we posted a fan listener version of our V that just had infowars.com a short message and it says you're not alone you know, we're standing up, we're everywhere, we're the people, you know, we are legion. I got like 30 emails, Aaron said, saying, we are legion, that's what the devil says. Whatever, you're going to, like, the devil said everything. You know, I mean, the devil says pink elephants, I can't ever say pink elephants. The point is, we're the majority. We, we outnumber the globalists a thousand to one. So, I, I didn't make that, a fan made it. There's hundreds of them on there. Anybody that's on my Facebook can go in there and post it. It's, it's not my fault. <laughs> My dear Alex, fake organizations for human rights by Octogon, the enemy within, exist, like the United Nations, Amnesty International and many other human rights groups and NGOs. So people think that someone else is already doing something, so they don't have to do anything themselves. Thus finally nobody acts or reacts. Now, personally, I think you've done a great job for humanity so far. But there are a lot of rumours about you saying you are a shill, disinfo agent and part of the enemy within to accomplish the very goals I just mentioned before. So my dear Alex Pro, can you please explain us what the Pentagon and the Saturn rings are doing on your microphone showing in all your latest studio vids? These are secret symbols being used by Octagon. Dear Alex, did you know that? Uh, the Anunnaki. See the Pharaoh show for more. And see Octagon the Empire of Darkness for more. Coincidentally, the Red V logo is strikingly similar to the Baphomet goat head pentagram used in occult practices. All that's missing are the ears, which form the other two triangles of the pentagram. The pentacle of Baphomet has meanings relating to sexuality. The top point of the pentacle represents the phallus and the two symmetrical points at the bottom, the vagina. The pentacle of Baphomet used in Satanism is reversed, so the vagina is above the phallus. Translated, this is a symbolic representation of respecting women for their roles as mothers. See the image of Frank, the bunny from Donnie Darko? Baphomet, or V, 
is sort of in his ears, if you look closely. They're just not normal ears. And again, he is a demonic bunny, so... <laughs> B also represents vagina and sex magic. Here is a new album by the lead singer of Tool, Maynard Keenan, called Pussifier. Notice the innuendo undertones. Pussifier. <laughs> the lunar cortex is partially exposed at the back of their neck. And In Terminator Salvation, a similar scenario over a kind of new world order was brought forth, and the slogan no played for the public in distraught was, You are the resistance. This is John Connor. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. John Connor. We gotta find this guy. There was a show about an alien race invading Earth, not surprisingly, airing in 1984 called V. A resistance movement is formed determined to expose and oppose the visitors. The symbol of the resistance is a blood red letter V for victory, spray painted over posters promoting visitor friendship among humans. The symbol was inspired by Abraham Bernstein, a Holocaust survivor in the series. The story becomes a Nazi allegory, right down to the swastika like emblem used by the visitors in their SS like uniforms. There is the youth auxiliary movement called the Friends of the Visitors with obvious similarities to the Hitler Youth and visitor broadcasts mimic Nazi-era propaganda. Luke 8.30 And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. In the series Paranormal State, episode I Am Six, the case involves a woman who is possessed by a demon who states, I am six. Later, psychic Lorraine Warren states over the phone that, I am six, means a being a legion of demons. In the exorcism of Emily Rose, when father asks, what is your name to the possessed girl, she yells in a screeching voice, I was with legion. This exorcism is based on a true story surrounding a 23-year-old Roman Catholic Bavarian girl named Annalise Michel in 1976. Now, remember that the Illuminati was also started in Bavaria in 1776. I just find this, co this coincidence a little strange. George Orwell's classic movie called 1984 is also representative of V, and probably most important of all to mention since Alex is so keen on the name. Bear any resemblance? Here is 1945 Chateau Mouton Rothschild. A single bottle may cost you $114,000. Its symbol is V, and obviously it was started by a Rothschild. <laughs> V for Vendetta was written by Alan Moore, a Satanist. He based this character on the devil himself. The graphic novel even has V himself saying, Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. The recent gunman at a Florida school board meeting appeared to be obsessed with the movie V for Vendetta and sprayed the symbol on the wall before his rampage. Could he have been possessed by his satanic influence? In her highly regarded Encyclopedia of Symbols entitled Masonic and Occult Symbols Illustrated, Dr. Kathy Burns explores the meaning of the V sign. She explains that the two fingers upward relate to the Masonic and Gnostic Law of Opposites, exactly as the case for the Masonic Lodge's black and white checkerboard floors. Now, Paul Joseph Watson, who started the V symbol supposedly, is the editor and writer for PrisonPlanet.com. And he is also the author of Order Out of Chaos. This is the doctrine of bringing order out of chaos, of reconciling the two opposites, evil and good, with Satan reigning over both heaven and hell. A V is Roman for five, which is the number of death and the five-sided pentagram. So holding up a V is saying, I am with the fifth cherub, the devil. I am with the pope. I am, I am for death. I am for killing, and I personally support the coming fascist dictator. The demolition of the Pentagon represents five, or penta. 
The last building to be demolished happened at 520, or also you can look at it like 5 equals E and 20 equals T, or ET. And if you look through the codes of 9-11, they tell you what's going on. ET engineered it. Now, Capstone V is pointing to Ra, the Egyptian deity. Look on your computer. What's above the six, the vector pyramid? What's below it at the bottom, the inverted pyramid of V? That supposed peace symbol always had another meaning. Have you noticed how lately Alex has endlessly been promoting the band Muse? Muse has some very interesting album covers and photo shoots, to say the least. A teddy bear army rising from the grave, half buried underground, doesn't look very fierce to me. But maybe I'm being a pessimistic revolution basher here. A quote from Muse's drummer, Dominic, might clear a few things up. He says, Not everyone gets the Monty Python aspect to our music, but it's there. We're often laughing as we record. Hmm. They have quite a few checkerboard floor symbolic photo shoots. Again, their clothes are color-coordinated to represent black-white duality. Note the occult caduceus on Dominic, one serpent black, one white. The caduceus on its own is very duality symbolic, having one black and one white, though obviously emphasizes this fact. Also note the astrological symbols. Mercury, the god associated with, with the caduceus, can be seen on the forehead of the weird-looking little girl in their music video called Newborn. Here's Muse giving the sign of the horns over the MasterCard symbol. Here's a poster from their official site with a Vesica Pisces motif, butterflies, and a sunflower, below the two overlapping moon faces. Monarch butterflies, of course, represent MKUltra Monarch programming. Is Muse actually under the control of Monarch programming? These two photos say, so above and so below. Nice hand gestures. <laughs> Here, their basis, Chris, is an Egyptian occult ritual pose. Now, this symbolizes duality, half face and darkness, half light, on the usual one eye symbolism. This represents mind control symbolism of a removed limb, like a mannequin. In September, Muse took a tour in America's Masonic capital, Washington, D.C., where Dominic wore a highly symbolic double-headed eagle shirt with a sun behind it, which feels especially ritualistic considering the symbolism of the phallic Washington monument situated behind him. Phallic obelisks such as that are associated with Egyptian sun-worshipping cults, and the eagle has been said to really represent a phoenix. The Washington Monument itself is an expression of duality because of the reflecting pool. As above, so below. Below ascending a staircase, symbolically ascension initiation, with a bust of Freemason George Washington kept in shot. Black, white, and red has been a very commonly used color scheme. Black and white duality and red symbolizing fire and blood and primal. Different types of goat and antelope are used symbolizing Baphomet here. Is it any surprise that their lyrics in the song Resistance are, We will be victorious? Alex Jones' fans have alluded to the fact that V is akin to an upside-down pyramid and that this represents the turning over of the NWO, but the actual meaning of this is something more sinister. Two triangles interlaced becomes the six-sided Star of David. The V is a 60 degree angle, so is the upside down V, that is, the compass part, top half of a Masonic compass and square, their most prominent symbol. The square is of course 90 degrees. The V isn't like an upside down pyramid, as the silly emailer suggested on his website. Look at the Great Pyramid in Egypt and you'll see it's 51.827 degrees from each corner, but looks closer to a 90 degree upside down V from a distance. Alex continues to argue that there can be numerous meanings attributed to a symbol and that symbols can be used for alternative purposes and causes. But it should be obvious enough that the media is already using puppeteers like Jay-Z to promote this same propaganda with the Eye of Providence hand symbol, 
while insisting to his audience that it represents a diamond. Alex then went on to explain that V represents Victoire from the French Revolution against the Nazis. But, if this was the case, then why would Himmler be sporting a V on his coat sleeve? If you look at the background on the Alex Jones channel, it looks like the Patriot is riding some sort of goat figure. Before that, he had the winged disc as the background with him in the center. He constantly does the OK sign, or 666, and the fingertips touching is for the agenda. During Christmas, the icon in the address bar for InfoWars was Saturn for Saturnalia. Also, during July 4th and Christmas, InfoWars was the only website highlighted on Drudge, which gets 20 million views a day. His stories are often featured there. This just goes to show the alternative media is all controlled. Now, before I wrap it up, I want you to look at one last thing. Three Illuminati cards from the Illuminati card game created in 1995, which I found rather haunting. America, where all men are created equal, in a land of the people, by the people, and for the people. That's kind of deceitful, cause Bush's economics were the fall of the eagle. A lobbyist is calling, so we're bombing your people. Sodom and Osama bin Laden are the bottom of the bottom, and I ain't stopping till I got them where we need to. So we applaud Obama when he promised that the problems will be gone by tomorrow, but the problems are equal. But at the top of all of this is neither of these two. Lincoln said in politics, the highest offices are not the ones making laws, it's the ones making profits. Wall Street monsters, Bilderberg evil. Bush and Obama are the people they speak through. We're just caught up in following, walking into our own slaughter, American sheeple. Better wake up or the wolves will eat you. Stalin, Mussolini, Nazi sequel. FEMA death camps where the police will beat you. It's for protection, nothing less than peaceful. And a one world government is best for the people with a one world currency injected through a needle. And there's no sense running because the government can see you. <laughs> I don't believe you, your propaganda see through. Punishment is coming, got me running to a seafood. See through to the top. Ta -ta.